I'm going to show you show you how to use the editor. Um, and when I mean say the editor, I mean this box where you edit the text on a page. It's similar to the previous one, so you'll recognise some of the similar buttons, um, particular ones to pay that you will find useful. Uh, the link button. So if we want to insert a link, we click that. Um, we can link to a URL, we can give it a title, we can make it open in a new window. And if you want an internal link, you can type some text into that box and it will search the website for pages. So let's say it was decontamination into practice. Uh, and then we click add link and it will appear there. The paragraph formatting or the text formatting drop down will be useful. Uh, depending on each page, because the pages are styled slightly differently, you might have to experiment to get the right level of heading. And there's a preview button if you want to see what your changes are going to look like before you commit them. Um, if you're copying and pasting from Word, there's a button for that. So you paste your text in there and click insert and it strips out all of that annoying Word um, formatting that we used to complain about. Um, and once you're finished, you click the update button uh, on the right hand side when you want to commit your changes permanently. There are a few other publishing options. You can um, set a published page to draft or pending review. Um, you can make it password protected or private, so not visible to anyone without a login. Uh, and you can set a date upon which you want it to be published. And that might be useful for news items. You can go on holiday, set up your news items, and they all appear uh, as if you're at work. Um, final thing I'm going to show you is how to insert images uh, and links to PDFs. So in this here, let's say we're using the slider, we want to insert a new image. The first thing I'll, t I'll say to you is that, uh, that you will have to resize that image to 150 by 150 before adding it to the media library. However, let's say we want to do that, uh, we can use the add media button. You see we've already got one uploaded uh, here. Actually, it's a different, it's different dimensions, that one. Um, somewhere there will be one that's 150, 150 that I've previously uploaded. Anyway, let's say you uploaded your file here. Um, uh, once you're ready to, to insert it, you click the insert on page. Um, one thing to watch out for is the alignment. You've got a choice, left, right or centre, but uh, uh, on the slider, uh, you, you don't need to bother setting that. Um, and you you have to decide where to link uh, the image to. Uh, if this is a PDF document, it would just insert that text uh, and make it link to the media file, which is fine. But in the case of an image, we don't really want people to download the images, um, so we would just put none uh, before we inserted that. So I'm not going to make my changes there. That's a brief introduction to how to use the editor.